And the yeshiva walked in to a little girl's room, a little girl that has been battling cancer for years, been in and out of hospitals for years. And when the yeshiva walked in, she asked the yeshiva for a bracha. You should be able to go to camp and play with all the other girls. Amen. Healthy and strong. Right away. Camp right is starting away. Monday already. Okay, right away. Today, right? Hashem can do it right away. Yeshua Hashem says, get her fire. 350 days a year, she lives with the memories of past years, Camp Simcha, and with the anticipation of going back to camp the coming year. Everybody there understands her. Understand. She goes to Camp Simcha. Can you imagine a girl in a pediatric intensive care unit at CHOP asking the Rashiva a bracha? The camp starts tomorrow. I want to go because it's the only place anyone understands me. She went on to stay in the PICU, and Chai Lifeline case managers and their incredible volunteers went and brought Camp Simcha to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. And every day with different creative programming, these incredible volunteers tried creating an environment of Camp Simcha in CHOP. But the case managers knew that as much as we can do for her in the hospital, in the ICU, the request of this girl, that I want to be understood and be in a place where others understand me, we cannot accomplish in CHOP. That's the best part about Capsimple, because that also, all the kids at Capsimple, because there are challenges you could more see, you could tell that they're going through a heart. It's not like kids, so when I'm in camp, and I feel as alone because I see that other people are going through a hard time. Mrs. Gorelick went and worked tirelessly, literally through day and night, with the doctors at CHOP and with the doctors in Camp Simcha to see even if we can get her to camp for one day. And with the Rosh Hashiva's bracha on Friday afternoon, as she packed her bags and left the pediatric intensive care unit of CHOP, together with her counselor to go up to Camp Simcha and you saw the smile on her face. You saw a girl going to a place where others can understand what she is going through. My Rosh Hashima came to visit me in Chapa, asked him for a bracha that I should be able to go to Simcha and I was able to go for two days, able to do two very fun activities and Chabas. So much fun and they wind and dine to me. <laughs>